Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to start the process of building my Australian kit, which is really exciting. I've got one piece of gear here to unbox and I'm gonna show how it incorporates with the rest of the bits that I'm taking with me. There's a lot to figure out, such as carry on weight, what I'm actually taking on the plane to put all of the gear in, things like that. It is, I say it's in the far future, it's not actually, but one, one day at a time. So we're focusing on starting the process of building the setup, which is so exciting. This is a three-way geared tripod head from KNF Concept, and they very, very kindly sent me this over for review purposes while I'm over in Australia. Okay, so as you can see, this is the three-way geared head from KNF Concept. This is so exciting. Lots of very nice packaging. To be honest, I love using these when traveling. You know the, the foam um, cutouts that are in the Skywatcher Star Adventurer box? They are great to use in your bag when traveling if you've got enough room. So, they're really excellent to use. Um, oh, <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I feel like a kid at Christmas. I need to calm down. Oh, it's so clean. Do you ever just love looking at equipment that is just so pristine? It's not gonna be for long with all that dust in the Australian outback, if you know what I mean. Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, we can see here that there's three knobs on this tripod head and KNF Concept call these high precision micrometric knobs to allow for complete independent movement three ways. This is gonna allow for such incredible fine tuning and precision for projects such as Milky Way panoramas. I say with confidence, I think I've done it once, <laughs> but this is gonna allow for a step up really in that process and it's gonna allow it hopefully to be easier than just me fumbling around in a dark field with a ball head on a tripod. So we're gonna really put that to the test. I'm really excited to see what it can do. I've missed a leaflet in this thing. Oh, instruction manual. Whatever. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, so the tripod that I'm gonna be using is the trusty Benro Match 3, and I've been using it for a good few years now. The only problem that I've had with it is I lost one of the tripod feet. So, <laughs> who's to blame for that? And I had to order a replacement pack, but honestly, it's an amazing travel tripod. It's so lightweight and so sturdy. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So this is what I'm going to be bringing with me as my base. Okay, so on the bottom of this tripod head, we can see some lovely threads. And that should, should fit directly on to Yes, and it does. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> I just want to stop for a second in the video and take a second to tell you about a new publication from Scottish astrophotographer Andrew Allen called Celestial Scotland. How beautiful is this front cover? The photos are taken by Andrew and they are just Oh, they're absolutely stunning. I love Andrew's stuff. He's such an inspiration. So when he reached out and asked me to write a chapter for his book, I was absolutely blown away. And you'll find it on page 84. And it's a chapter all on deep sky astrophotography for beginners. So if this is something that would interest you, I'm not gonna give you it all. You're gonna have to buy the book. <laughs> but 
please click the link to Andrew's shop down below and you can get yourself a copy as of yesterday. Well, it won't be yesterday when I upload this, but it's, it went live very recently. You just need to get your hands, need to get your hands on it, even if you just want to go at Bonnie Scotland. That is, that's a reason to buy it too. But yeah, super excited about that and just want to get the word out for Andrew and for Scotland and yeah, for any beginners out there or any fans of the Scottish skies, this book is for you. It's your complete and utter guide. It's all you will need and I can guarantee that 110% get your hands on one of these. <laughs> okay, the setup is looking great so far. The geared tripod head has a quick release plate on the top which I could just attach my Canon 6D to directly and use this as an ultimate portable run and gun Milky Way type setup. The lens that I've got on the Canon 6D at the moment is the 24 millimeter from Sigma. So if we wanted to calculate the exposure that I could, the exposure length, sorry, that I could do without the stars trailing, we would use the 500 rule. So we could take 500 and divide that by 24 and that would give us 20.8 seconds that I could shoot for with this setup without a tracker and to be honest in Bortle 1, 2 skies I could get some pretty good results. So hopefully we're going to put that to test this winter in Scotland and I'm certainly going to test it just like this stripped down in Australia as well so I'm super excited for that. It's always nice to show it at different levels because obviously everyone's gonna have different goals, different budgets etc etc. So this is the first review item that I'm taking out to Australia and I've got two actually and the second one is, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, is from Move Shoot Move and it's their Nomad Star Tracker which <laughs> is just insane. I cannot believe that I get to take this with me. Um, the guys at Move Shoot Move were absolutely amazing and they sent this out to me for review purposes again. So I'm gonna be putting it to its tests, hopefully in Australia and coming up with a review for the whole kit really, but um, these two items at the end of it. So oh, just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the size is just ideal for what we're getting up to. But yes, here is the the Nomad. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that the Move Shoot Move has a Vixen plate at the end. And I hope, I'm just gonna sit you down there, mate, that if I take the quick release plate off the three-way geared tripod head, so you can see that's what I was talking about earlier, really good for just attaching your camera to the head without any star tracker at all. But I'm pretty sure if I, remove that that I can slot this guy in oh okay things are starting to come together slowly the next step would be to attach the polar scope kit to this placeholder here and then on the front attach a ball head which I have not yet got but that is all to come in good time I am so excited to learn more about the star tracker and most importantly, actually get out with it in Scotland and test it before I head. My biggest worry is polar lining in the Southern Hemisphere. I I don't want to talk about it. I can't, I can't polar align in the Northern Hemisphere with a Star Tracker. So <laughs> I really just want to give a huge thank you to both KNF Concept and Move Shoot Move for their incredible support of this adventure. Oh, I'm just so excited to get out even in Scotland with them properly and test things out, get things going and then complete a full review for both products at the end of my trip to Australia next year. I'll keep you updated obviously on the progress of building the setup before I get out with it for its first, its debut <laughs> imaging session and I'm really excited to see the results from this wee beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'll see you in the next video, but until then, get yourselves under those skies.